What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got three brand new epics, Skulls, Badass Judah and Van der Vaart. And I feel like Skulls is going to be an absolute monster and I do like the fact that he's in the classic shirt. He looks pretty decent in game. Oh, man, I, I don't know. I'm a bit torn on Skulls. I didn't expect him to be this good. I mean, especially as a shoot and attack midfielder, which is what I usually like to have is a really good attacking midfielder that has got good power, good balance, good speed, acceleration, everything. I mean, he looks like a really, really nice card. Not probably going to be as run and gun or as like tight possession based or tight control based as the likes of San Krasen maybe uh, or Zico or any of those guys that, you know, are the top, top tier like Musiala. We also have Batas Juda, who is going to be, I think Batas Juda is going to be done a little bit dirty. It's kind of like Adriano. It's kind of like those big bulky players. You can score a lot of bangers with these goals, but they're not where the meta is at. So it's just playing for a bit of fun, which is what games should be. But a lot of people like to play for wins. I think Batas Juda is going to be one of those cards that could be absolutely just brilliantly fun to play with, like Forlan. And then finally, we have a strange Van der Vaart card. Now, why I say strange is this card doesn't really excel at anything in his position but as kind of like a central uh, player or as a player just overall, he does have some really nice stats and the card that goes to 97 overall. So we're going to go straight into the cards we're going to show you here. I don't know whether we'll spin or not. Let me know in the comments below whether ye are going to spin or whether you're just waiting for the new update now that's coming Thursday. But these are part of a pack here as you see. And we're actually going to hide my face here to show you the boosters and stuff like that. We'll start with the rest of the players in here. These include... Uh, De Bruyne, Sané, Schick, Ramos, Berardi, Almiron, uh, Malon and uh, Melon and uh, Kulusevski. So I'm just going to throw up really quickly a couple of the bills here um, while I'm talking, right? But these are the bills that you're going to see here for the the kind of players that I don't really recommend as much. Um, you can see them there. So the likes of Malin is going to be nine into shooting, nine into dribbling, and then dexterity is eleven with four into lower body and one into aerial strength. I'll just kind of let them go until we talk about kind of the main players in this pack. I won't take too long. Of course, you can pause the video here. These are my bills for these players. There's a couple of things to get into. I mean, obviously, with any winger or any player you're going to be running the ball with, try and get his tight possession, balance, and acceleration up as high as possible before you kind of look at either passing or finishing and pick one of them. Usually, these players won't get, like, really good passing and really good finishing, so you need to pick one or the other. Amaran has some fantastic speed, 97 acceleration, one of the fastest players in the game with the boost. Obviously, these stats here are without the manager boost and without uh, the booster in regards to the legend. So, any of the stats that you see here are going to be also getting an additional plus two minimum. Um, so they are some good stats, man. They are some good cards, but kind of just, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to wait and see what's what's coming Thursday. I mean, Schick has been uh, on really good form for Leverkusen. He's a really, really good player. But again, he's kind of that bulky center forward that kind of falls into the void any e football 2024 because of the type of player that he is, you know, especially that low balance, man, that's going to kill that card there. Um, Kulusevski as well is a very solid card. I know a lot of people rave about this guy that he's a really good player. He is definitely one of the picks picks to get there um, with, within this pack. Now, the player that we're going to first look at in a little bit more detail is going to be Leroy Sané, right? He's got inconsistent form. He's, it's a fantastic card. Obviously, one of my favorite cards to use early doors in eFootball 2022 and 3. Excellent, excellent player card, excellent player ID, but he has a couple of things that just kill this card, including the stamina, uh, which is only 71 after putting 8 into lower body strength. His speed, acceleration, kick and power is really high and it stacks really nice, but the stamina is just a complete oversight uh, and I don't understand why his stamina is so bad. It's the same with De Bruyne here. De Bruyne is, is a really nice card, right? It's a really, really nice card and I do think that this card could have potential if you are looking to kind of train him up in that attacking midfielder role, but when you're comparing the likes of De Bruyne to Scolzi, who we'll see in a second, who has pretty much everything going for him, as well as more speed, um, then it's kind of, a, 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 it, it becomes a thing of like, why you pick a player, if you're looking for wins, right, it's kind of a, a conundrum of why pick a player that has, you know, weaknesses in his stats, when you can pick a player that has no weaknesses in his stats, if you are prepared to spin, and if you are prepared to spin and you get these cards, De Bruyne is a really good card, he is a good card, but he's a shooting attacking midfielder, um, where I feel like you do need to be peppering in shots a good bit, you know, other than that, his card is quite decent, as you see here, so, on to the kind of main attraction, we're going to start with Van der Vaart, which is the weakest of the cards, in my opinion, it's not a weak, weak card, but he does get a plus two technique booster, which is going to be also added on with the plus two manager booster, so he his base tie possession stat is going to be 85, which is really nice, just at level one, 
with the manager boost and with the booster in effect here. The rest of his stats are pretty decent as well. Again, he's a finishing kind of attack and midfielder style player, but he can't play it. Um, he can't play anywhere else on the right. He's just going to be able to play on the left. So I would probably play him as a kind of like. Uh, I would say like kind of like a kind of an impact player. I don't think apart from playing him like, you know, for a bit of crack or whatever, I don't think that this uh, 27 year old creative playmaker van der Vaart is going to be that good on the left. I definitely feel he needs to be more central, especially with the build that we've gone for here. I'm sure that, you know, you can do a different build and we'll test him out if we do end up spinning for him. But I feel like this is probably the best build for him at the moment. He's got that kicking power. Kicking power is a stat that they've kind of slowly but surely um, kind of changed and altered a little bit. So I'm hoping that they tweak that a little bit more with V3.4, which we know is now coming. There is the build there. If you want to pause the video, lads, I'll keep it short and sweet. And of course, we also do have Paul Scolzi. So Scolzi is probably the pick of the pack, lads, which isn't too surprising. You know what you're going to be getting with Batistuta. With Batagal, he's going to be a, a car that you literally just have like Adriano, any of those guys turn and shoot, you know. Um, but Scolzi's base stats, lads, with just his booster, which he gets here for the pl plus two technique, he does have really, really good finishing, 85 finishing and 90 kicking power at level one straight off the rip with that unwavering form. Um, he's, you know, his, his face scan looks a little bit or his face build looks a little bit to be left to be desired there. But the rest of his player skills are really nice. And he's got some unique player skills as well. So he has heading, he has pinpoint crossing because he can play on left mid. He has low lofted pass and fighting spirit, first time shot, long range shooting, rising shot, knuckle shot and one touch pass and weighted pass. So listen, as I've said before, and I'll keep saying it, the game kind of tells you how you should train these and how you should use these players. If you don't shoot from an attacking midfielder position, if you do a lot of tap-ins, if you do a lot of wing play, if you do a lot of triangles, touch and go, there are more mobile, versatile and speedy Pauls or versions of, uh, of an attacking midfielder that aren't Paul's goals, especially with the way that he's built as a creative playmaker. A whole player will be better or even using no AMF and using an SS kind of sitting in that pocket to be more advanced up the pitch. But if you are looking for a complete attacking midfielder that can carry the ball, you know, is aggressive when he has the ball, has got good balance, everything, this build of Paul Scholes is quite decent, man. Especially when you have the boosters to come into this as well. You're going to have, you know, 90 ball control, 90 tight possession, 91 low pass, 90 finishing, 94 acceleration, 86 balance and 90 stamina with a huge kick and power at 99 as well with the speed there as well i definitely think the only weakness in this card is obviously physically like a lot of the cards that have uh that attack a midfielder one of my rule of thumbs is to have an attack a midfielder because he's carrying the ball most uh is to have his balance at 90 and tight possession at 90 but he's got acceleration tight possession and finishing over 90 which is kind of a unique one um for this card so i definitely think that's goals he is going to be a really good attack and midfielder option for you if you want to spin it just depends whether he's worth the spin or not because as i said lads you've 150 players in this are you going to go for paul Scholes, knowing that you mightn't get him after putting in ten thousand coins you know if you get him in one spin yeah obviously every player that you get in one or two spins is worth it you know but if you're going to the well and you have to you know keep going and keep going and keep going I don't think any of these players apart from Skulls are probably worth it unless you're looking to play the game with, you know, legends like Batistuta, which isn't a bad card either. I definitely don't think he's the worst card in the game, but he is going to be clunky. And again, it's that balance, lads. Look at that balance unless they tweak that in V3.4, which we'll get into in the live stream later on. If I do live stream, hopefully I will. But this finishing ball control booster that he's going to be getting for the shooting plus two, coupled up with his player skills, which is going to be a lot of shooting skills. He has acrobatic finishing, first time shot, and he does have one touch pass but he doesn't have aerial superiority there's a little bit of work to be done to this card compared to Scolzi and also he doesn't have as many levels as Scolzi he's only got 31 levels Scolzi does have a few more I do feel like Badis Judah especially with this build is going to be good but I just don't think that the game really rewards players like this which is a pity because you know shooting or finishing goals man and and strikers and you know being a top class striker is not all just about being you know Mbappe speedster like it's you know, to play centre forward in real life is obviously I know eFootball24 isn't real life, but to play a centre forward, like you have to be very intelligent with your runs. You have to be very intelligent when you have the ball with spacing. Like spacing is is huge. If anyone has ever played real life football at a high degree or a high level, you know that spacing is huge, that you don't need to be, you know, the quickest or the fastest or the strongest um or the tallest. But I do feel like these players especially like the likes of Badis Shuda, Adriano, 
Haaland, their balance kills the cards, man, straight off the rip. And look at his tight possession and his balance there. They're not even going to crack mid-80s, which is ridiculous for a card like this. I mean, these cards, like, you know, Haaland has excellent technique, and I do feel that they need to kind of tweak that a little bit for V3.4, or definitely for eFootball 2025. But there is the build that we have for him. That is it for me. I will be back later on. Hopefully, we'll be streaming later, lads. Um, it is Bank Holiday Monday, so hopefully, we'll be, we'll, blah, 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 blah. we will be streaming. Until then, I will see you guys next. I mean, listen, lads, I can't tell you whether to go for these cards or not. There's reasons to go for them. There's reasons to not go for them. But let me know in the comments below, are you going to spin? If so, why? And if not, why? Let me know in the comments below. Let's get a bit of a conversation going, and I will talk to you in a little bit.